Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with an update to something I did last year. If you remember last August, I did a stream, I believe at the time, uh, ranking every series I have ever reacted to on the channel. And I tried to include everything, including stuff I reacted to back on the old channels before they were terminated. Obviously, some things might have slipped through the cracks, but I think I got at least the vast majority of everything. Now, we are going to be updating that list today. We're going to be updating it with uh, all the new stuff that I've reacted to since last August. Um, with a little caveat there. So, I want to make uh, very clear here right away that... Um, Everything that I have reacted to a new season of and everything since then, I have already sorted. I have already resorted. So it's like, oh, I reacted to season two or season three of something since I fir first made this list. That's all been resorted already. So just, I'm going to go through this real quick to show you what's been resorted. So we start with the peak, which is S plus tier. As you can see, uh, we have One Piece at the very top, followed by Owl House, and so on and so forth. So we go down into our next category, Based, which is S tier. So remember, this is already this is stuff that's already been sorted. This is stuff that's already been ranked. Um, it's just now organized in like a different order because I've seen more seasons of it, or I've rewatched shows and stuff. And the order has switched up a bit. So we're in the awesome tier right now here. I'll go a little faster here. Next we have uh, this next tier, which is the good tier. These shows are still good, but not great. They have some issues here and there, or some things that just brought them down for me. Uh, then we have the meh tier. A lot of the shows you'll notice, like right here at the top especially, you see Vox Machina, Steven Universe, Voltron, um, Young Justice, Star Versus, are shows that started off and became really, really good, but fell off. Uh, I felt the meh tier was the best tier for shows that fell off for me like that. So a lot of those will be in here as well for the meh tier. And if you don't recognize a show based on its uh, character thumbnail, just feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll let you know. Anyway, here's the tier for shows that are just not for me. Shows that I just couldn't get into and clearly were not my kind of thing. Or shows that may have started off pretty good, like Mob Psycho, and just got to that point through, you know, after it started. Stuff like that. Um, there are shows in there that I might give a second chance to and all, but for the moment, they're just not for me. And then we get into the stuff that I actively dislike. The stuff that I just very actively do not like. <laughs> uh, and the stuff that I actively hate. And I've talked about why and everything. But yeah, so that's the list so far. Um, so now we're going to get into the new stuff. As you can see at the bottom, those have been down there for a while. And for any show that's that we're still currently going through, we're going to count based on just what we've seen so far. So we start with Baymax, the Disney Plus series, uh, and I'm going to put that in good. Good is uh, the B tier. Because it's like it has a lot going for it, a lot of great messages and themes and ideas, but I wouldn't put it that high. I'm going to actually put Baymax right under Harley Quinn. After that, we go to Castlevania Nocturne, and we definitely need to go up here to the uh, awesome tier. The question is, where would I put it? Where did I? Here's where I put the original Castlevania series. So, Nocturne, we've only got one season of so far, and while it was very good, I can't put it higher than the original series at the moment. I think I'm going to put Nocturne right under One Punch Man and above Dovero. Uh, Delicious in Dungeon. This is one that we've started but haven't gotten too far into yet. But I still really like it a lot. I'm going to put it like at near the bottom of the awesome tier, I think. Uh, I'm going to put it right above Little Witch Academia. I think that's a good spot for it right now. Right under Samurai Jack, right above Little Witch Academia. 
Dr. Stone, we did the first season of so far, and that definitely goes up quite a bit higher. I was, like, surprised by how much I love Dr. Stone. I'm going to put Dr. Stone right above Kipo and under Jujutsu Kaisen. So next we have Fallout. Uh, Fallout is one we just finished recently. This one actually gets to go up a, a bit higher. Not too high, though. I'm going to put it right under your boy Kung Ming and right above Steins Gate Zero. I think that's a good point for it. Because it's still pretty high up there in the tier, but not quite at the top. Uh, Freerun. Freerun's another one, just like Delicious in Dungeon, that we've been going through, but haven't gotten too far in lately. Um, Freerun, I don't like as much as Delicious in Dungeon, based on what we've seen so far, so where did I put that? There we go. I'm going to put Freerun probably right under the Kakegurui series. It definitely deserves to be in this tier, in the uh, awesome tier, but I can't put it higher than that. Uh, after that, I'm going to actually skip Hellbound for the moment so we can rank Hasbin Hotel and Hell of the Boss together. And yes, I know I've only reacted to the pilot and one episode of Hell of a Boss, but I'm also counting the uh, short Hell's Bells in there. Um, and yes, by the way, for, just to make it clear, I'm only counting the stuff I have reacted to. Uh, has been hotel I think can go up in based but the question is exactly where in based I think I'm going to put it right above Miss Marvel um actually I'll put it above glitch text yeah I, I can't put it at the very top of based um just because I feel like I, I definitely need to see where it's going to continue to go, but I think I like uh, I think I like that spot for it nonetheless. Hell of a boss again. We've only reacted to one episode, one short, and the pilot. Everything else I've watched on my own time. I'm not going to count that. So to be fair, I think I can only put Hell of a boss between Infinity Train and um, Symfo Gear. If, again, if I had seen more of it, uh, if I reacted to more of it, I should say, then I would put it much higher up. Uh, Hellbound. Hellbound is definitely going to be in the Not For Me series, or, or uh, tier. Because it's a, it's a series that did start off as like, oh, this is pretty interesting, but completely, like, lost my interest. <laughs> um... I'm going to still put it above Watchmen. I think I'm going to put it between Watchmen and uh, Mob Psycho. Uh, after that, we have Jormungand, which is another one in that kind of same vein. It lost my interest, but I'm going to put this in the meh tier. Because Jormungand still has a lot of good going on for it that I still really appreciate. It just kind of lost my interest and I just stopped being as, you know, into it. In fact, I'm going to put this at the top of the tier because I don't feel like it dropped off like Vox Machina or some of these shows uh, underneath it as much as I just feel like it wasn't making as much progress as I wanted and I just kind of lost interest. So next we have uh, Kid Cosmic. Uh, Kid Cosmic definitely deserves uh, to be pretty high. This series has impressed the shit out of me time and time again. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely still going to keep it only in the awesome tier. Um, as for placement... Hmm. I think, I think I'm going to put it up pretty high, actually, because I do really like it. I'll put it right under Fallout. I think that's a good placement for Kid Cosmic, honestly. Knuckles, Knuckles definitely deserves to be pretty high, too. I'm going to put Knuckles in between Obi-Wan and Infinity Train. I really loved Knuckles, but I wouldn't put it higher than that, I think. Now, Lance Durr is the series we are currently reacting to. In fact, the day I'm putting this video out, uh, I also put up uh, a reaction to Lance Durr. This is a spinoff of Wack Fu, and so far, I would probably put it in the uh, good tier. Um, I feel like it has a lot going for it, but I feel like it needs to impress a little bit more still. 
And I'm only three episodes in as of recording this, but I'm going to put it under My Hero Academia. So then we have Lucifer. Lucifer definitely goes up here in Awesome. Um, I'm going to put Lucifer just under Cyber Six and above One Punch Man. I think that's a good placement for it. I, I don't think I can put it any higher than that. Now, we already have Masters of the U Universe Revelation on here, but now we're also including, oops, did not mean to drag that, Revolution. So the reason I'm counting these as separate is because of the title thing and because of the fact that it seems to almost be like kind of like a, not really a soft reboot, but it seems to be refocusing itself on newer stuff and bigger stuff. It almost feels like a follow-up series rather than a second season. You know what I mean? Like a Legend of Korra uh, to Avatar The Last Airbender rather than a second season. Even though it's the same characters and all. Um, that being said, we're only halfway through the season currently. There's still a second half we have to get to. I think for now, I'm going to put it just... Uh, between the two total drama series i think that's the best i can place it for now it definitely is going to depend on how the second half of the season goes so after that we have my adventures with superman uh this definitely goes pretty high up um i really enjoy the shit out of this series um the question is how far up we're currently in season two so it is th there is a little bit of recency bias i will admit um, I think I'm going to put it just under Hell's Paradise. I think that's a good placement. It's not quite in based. It, it takes a lot for it to be in based for me. Um, like Dragon Maid, you would think, would be in there. But no, that's not even in there. So, uh, But One Piece LA definitely deserves to go up here in either based or peak. I think I'm going to put it in based. I think there's a couple things that keep it from being peak. Um, but I'm going to put One Piece LA just above Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I think Ghost of Milo McGee, it's just a little more hype for me. Um, but it's super fucking close. It's super fucking close. Next we have Pluto, which we still eventually need to get back to. Um, we only have like, I think a few episodes left. Um, Pluto... I'm going to put in good, I think. Wait, yeah, good is right here. Um, I'm going to put Pluto just under Ancient Magus's Bride. It has a lot going for it, but there's a lot about it that also makes it sometimes hard to watch. It's very serious. Um, but what is not hard to watch is going to be Sandland. And so this is tricky because I've talked about uh, how... As we've been watching Sandland, it's been my favorite thing I've been reacting to lately. But this is accounting for everything that I've reacted to. So it's not like just counting One Piece's Egghead arc. This is all the One Piece I've reacted to, including all of Wano, all of Whole Cake Island. So it's like, by this and with other stuff that I'm not currently reacting to either... I'm going to put Sandland between Ruby and Carol on Tuesday. I think that's a good placement for it. It definitely deserves to be in peak. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and overall, in terms of everything I've reacted to with the, with all these shows, I think that's a good placement. And uh, I've still got a couple more episodes to go for that one. Scott Pilgrim Takes Off definitely is based. Um, this series was amazing, but I'm not going to put it above the ponies. I'm going to, I'm going to put this at the bottom of based. It definitely deserves to be up there. It's just that good, but I can't put it any higher. So next we have Shameless. Shameless is one of those shows that I actually very much enjoyed, but also I decided to drop because of mental health stuff that I have going on that I just felt would be super exacerbated with this series. Um, so from what I've watched, I'm going to put it in good. I think that's probably the best place I can put it. And I'm going to put it between regular show and close enough. Next, we have uh, Tangled the Series. And this one I had mentioned I was having trouble with. It, it, it was 
it was just not doing enough and not progressing the story enough for my taste. And I felt like even the episodic stuff that it gave us just wasn't that good. I'm going to put this in the meh tier right now. And honestly, I'm going to put it between Digimon and Steven Universe. Even with how Steven Universe ended, I just, I still prefer it right now. So then we have The Imperfects, another series um, like Shameless that I actually really liked, but was having trouble motivating myself to continue in terms of reactions, and I felt like probably a sign that I need to stop reacting to this. I haven't actually start, I haven't actually continued watching it because I have trouble doing that when I drop a series that I plan to continue watching on my own time. Um, but I'm actually going to put The Imperfects in... Um, do I want to put it in awesome? No, nah, I think I'm going to put it just one stage below that. Uh, I think I'll put this between Shaman King and Wandering Sun. And then we have Undead Unluck, another one we have to get back to. Uh, this one is another one that just impressed the shit out of me. Like Dr. Stone and so many others we've checked out uh, in recent memory. This is one that really surprised me with how good that I found it. Uh, this definitely belongs in the awesome tier, but the question is how far up? Because we didn't get too far yet, and there's still a lot of uh, stuff we need to find out. I think I'm going to put it just under Infinity Train. Just because I feel like I need to know more about everything going on first. But it definitely deserves to be that high. So... That is our uh, our additional rankings for this. Like I mentioned, um, anything that we've reacted to a, se a, a second or third season or whatnot since we did the first list back in August was already sorted in in here. So it's like new stuff like that um, I just put in here automatically to save some time because you know how these tier lists can take a lot of time. But I think this is a pretty good order for the moment. Um, just based on, again, watches and rewatches and stuff lately and what where I'm currently at. Now, I w we will be doing another one of these probably next year, I would assume. Uh, I'm going to keep my list going of all the shows we continue to react to. And anything new that we react to um, will be adjusted for. And once we get to new additions, um, those will be uh, added in by the time we get to this again. I don't know how many we'll have comparatively. Um, depends on when next year we get to this again. But this is definitely something I want to continue to do. Just continuing to rank all the shows that we react to on the channel and see where it goes. Uh, but yeah, so for the time being, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, any thoughts, if you want to mention where you would kind of place some of these shows, uh, please feel free. For now, though, thank you all so much for tuning in. And yeah, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See you all next time.